गुड डे गर्ल्स वेलकम बैक टू मैथ्स वन क्लास होप ऑला सिटिंग विथ पेन पेन्सिल नोटबुक एंड द टेक्स्ट बुक गर्ल्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द रैंडम एक्सपेरिमेंट्स आउटकम्स एट्सेट्रा यू मस्ट हैव सॉल्व द एक्सरसाइज 5.1 इन योर नोटबुक लेट अस स्टडी मोर अबाउट प्रोबेबिलिटी गर्ल्स from the activities done by us in previous class and also the cases given in exercise 5.1 you must have noticed that possible outcomes are finite that is limited let us learn some terms related to probability the set of possible outcomes is called sample space and denoted by capital s or a greek letter omega each outcome is known as sample point total number of sample points or outcomes is denoted by n of s girls here pay attention here you have to write n small capital s in round bracket let us write the sample spaces for some common examples first one one coin is tossed here we know either head or tail will turn up therefore we'll get sample space s is equal to h and t girls pay attention how to write the sample space s capital put is equal to sign curly bracket open then put comma in between two possibilities or two sample points therefore we'll get n of s is equal to 2 second example two coins are tossed sample space s is equal to head on both the coins head on first coin tail on second coin tail on first coin head on second coin and tail on both the coins curly bracket complete so we'll get number of sample points n of s is equal to 4 Third one, three coins are tossed. Sample space S is equal to curly bracket open. Head on three coins. Head on first two coins and then tail like this. So then we'll get head on first coin, tail on remaining two coins, and at the end tail on all three coins. so we have number of sample points n of s is equal to 8 next fourth one one die is rolled then either one or two or four or five or six will turn up so a sample space s is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 ns is equal to 6 next one two dies are rolled here we'll get sample space keep number on first die 1 2 3 write it vertically and keep on changing digits on second die then you will get the sample space as shown in the ppt so you will get number of sample points 36 girls here you have to keep in mind 1 1 1 2 put comma otherwise it will become 11 12 like that hope you followed this write these sample spaces in your notebook let us solve exercise 5.2 Look at the page number 117 of your textbook. In first question, one coin and one die are tossed. 
and we are asked to write sample space and number of sample points. Here, one coin we have two possibilities head or tail. One die we have six possibilities. Now we have to combine these two. Then we will get sample space as shown in the PPT. So H1, H2 till T6. So our number of sample points are 12. Next question. Here in the question it is given that two digit numbers are formed using digits 2, 3 and 5. But condition is repetition of digits is not allowed. So we will form the numbers and write the sample space. So our sample space will become S is equal to curly bracket open. 22 is not allowed since repetition is not allowed. So we cannot write 22. So we will get 23, 25, 32. Again 33 we cannot write. 35, 52, 53, 55 we cannot write. So our number of sample points N of S is equal to 6. Next, Next sum. In this sum, there are six colors on one disk and we are asked to write the sample space and sample point. So the arrow may stop on any color. So sample space S is equal to red, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple. Hence N of S is equal to 6. Next sum. Girls, in your textbook, page of the calendar for March 2019 is given and we are asked to find the days on which the date is a multiple of 5. It means find the names of days having dates 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30. Then only on Thursday dates are not multiple of 5. Therefore, now our sample space will become Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The number of sample points N of S is equal to 6. Children, I hope you understood this. Solve these sums in your notebook. Also complete the fourth question. Try to solve similar sums from problem set 5. Thank you. Take care.